Kia ora. This is Christina Hopner from the Mahara Project at Catalyst in Wellington, New Zealand. Today, I would like to take you through a number of the highlighted features in Mahara 18.10, which was released on the 25th of October 2018. We would like to thank everybody who has contributed to this latest release of Mahara and thank them for their varied contributions. That ranges from BA UX um, thinking to design, code development, uh, front end work, testing, and many, many others, including, of course, also our translators who make it possible that our community has Mahara available and not just English. So many, many thanks to everybody. Now, let's take a look at some of these new features. We've made a number of changes in the navigation in order to consolidate elements that uh, belong in one category and make it easier for people to navigate around. The navigation of the main menu is now grouped into create, share and engage, which corresponds to our three main verbs in Mahara. Under create, you can find all the files, journals and many of the other artifacts that you can create or upload into Mahara, as well as the portfolios themselves in the form of the pages and collections. Under share, you can share your portfolio with others and also see the portfolios of, that other people have shared with you. And in Engage, you collaborate with others in groups and can work on portfolios together or discuss topics of interest. One big area in which we made numerous changes is tagging. We have implemented institution tags, um, allowing users that are in an institution to take these official tags and have them in their portfolio pages or artifacts, and always use the ones that have come from the institution instead of wondering whether there is a capital letter involved or not, whether to write a certain tag or certain words that make up a tag in one word or separately. We've also implemented the functionality to automatically create a page based on tagged content. So if you've tagged files or journal entries and um, you want to create a page based on that tag, all the evidence that you have previously uploaded to your portfolio area will be displayed on that page. You can still curate your content um, and therefore delete things, add other things and move them around so that they really fit your purpose. But the, at least the initial setup of the page is done automatically so that you are not missing on any put evidence that you might have otherwise overlooked. You can now also explore the content of other people via the tags that they have given their content. So for example, you can click on a tag in a page um, of a friend of yours or on a particular learning evidence and then see all the things that your friend has tagged with that particular tag. As long, of course, as your friend has shared their, that content with you. We are still respecting the privacy um, and only display content that has been shared um, according to what the portfolio author has set out. You can also explore content via tags um, using a secret URL or a, on, on a public page. Only in those two cases is the display restricted to the portfolio that you are currently viewing. We've also implemented a number of features that support the creation of templates um, for scaffolding the portfolio work. One of them is um, the instructions functionality. When you now create a page and go to the settings, you see the advanced uh, panel, allowing you to set up instructions for the entire page, therefore not needing to add a text block to the page anymore and then require your learners to remove that block after they've read the instructions. 
It is also possible to lock blocks to the page, um, preventing that they are deleted by accident. So what does this now look like when you view a page? Well, the instructions block is displayed both in edit mode as well as in the display mode so that both the portfolio creators as well as um, any assessors can take a look at them. And then because in this example we lock the blocks, you don't see the delete button on the block next to the block configuration. Group administrators and tutors can set up group portfolios that they can then push out to all regular group members. The tutors and admins of the group themselves will not receive a copy of that portfolio because it is usually meant for students to work with them, but not the actual administrators. Another really exciting feature is the possibility now to save a version of a page to a timeline, allowing you to go back in time and take a look at what that portfolio looked like a month ago, two months ago, or three months ago. Therefore, allowing you to see how your portfolio developed over time. View safe versions of your portfolio to the timeline manually by clicking the Save to Timeline link um, in the More Options button. And then once you have done that for the first time, the timeline link uh, appears so that you can then enter your timeline in order to view the content there. And there you can navigate um, through the dates for which there are versions saved to your timeline and can th then see how the portfolio develops. In regards to the assessment, um, there is also new functionality there allowing peer assessment to be made in a more blind way. So in this case, in contrast to um, providing feedback or comment on a portfolio, the peer assessor is asked to evaluate the portfolio author without already being able to gauge their feedback um, based on what the portfolio author has written themselves. It is also possible to sign off and verify a page. Um, that is a new block that can be added to portfolio pages in order to allow the portfolio author to indicate visually that their portfolio is ready for assessment and then allow the manager of the portfolio author to verify that portfolio and again visually indicate whether it can go on to the next step in the workflow. Now, let's take a look at the connection to a learning management system. A while ago, we implemented the functionality to allow logins from an LMS to Mahara via LTI, the learning tools interoperability standard. Now we are in the position to make available this new feature, actually allowing assignments that consists of portfolio pages to be marked by, via the LMS and the grade that has been received in the, on the portfolio to be pushed into the LMS automatically. So in this case, the teacher has set up the assignment uh, in either Moodle, Canvas, or any other learning management system that supports LTI, and can then decide the assessment settings and therefore determine what should happen in particular with the portfolio after the grading has finished, and also whether an archive should be made once the assessment process is over. When a student goes to the activity, they can select their portfolio that they would like to submit to that assignment. Um, if they don't yet already have one, they can certainly create one. And then when the teacher goes into the activity again, they can see all the portfolios that have been submitted by people to that activity 
can click the great button, look at the portfolio itself, make comments in Mahara, and then also provide a grade directly on the page, which is then pushed into the learning management system. Sometimes, unfortunately, we do get uh, people who um, put things into the portfolio that they should not put in there. And then the um, process for the objectionable content review kicks in, um, typically initiated by somebody um, marking a page or a, learning, a piece of learning evidence as objectionable. Now it is possible to complete the review process directly within Mahara and um, provide additional information to the portfolio author, helping them um, make sure that they fix up their portfolio appropriately. And then it is also possible to remove the access to that portfolio temporarily, for example, until the student has finished making the changes. And last but not least, um, in order to make it easier to create and edit content uh, once it has been placed into a portfolio, it is now possible to update plans directly from within a page and um, then be taken back to that page directly as well. So those were a number of the new features that we have available in Mahara 18.10. They are by far not all of them, um, but a selection of the big new features that you can take advantage of. There have also been bug fixes. If you'd like to take a look at all the new features, you can do so under the URL that is provided here, or you can go to the user manual under manual.mahara.org in order to view the uh, changes and new features. You're welcome to download and install Mahara 18.10 directly from our project homepage and give it a go, explore it, and then also let us know what you think about it. What do you think about the new features or any of the features that have changed? And um, yes, we would like to hear from you. And you can send me an email at christina at catalyst.net.nz or also use our discussion forums on mahara.org at mahara.org slash forums in order to provide us feedback. We look forward to hearing from you.